in the previous video i told you that there are eight steps in adbc which we might need to do and the first step is to build the connection with the database so as i said that adbc should be performed for any system earlier than 7.4 so adbc can be done with hana or non hana database and the second step is to instant instantiate the sql statement so there is a class which helps us to instantiate the sql statement then we need to prepare the query so we need to write the uh, native sql statements and get ready so that is the third step prepare native sql statements the first step, fourth statement is you need to um, trigger this native sql statements that is issue the native sql calls that's the first step so once you have triggered the sql you would like to save it in some result set so there so you have to assign a target variable for the result set once you have the variable set you need to retrieve the result set that is the sixth step the second seventh step is to close the query why do we need to close the query so that we can release the resource that is the seventh step and the eighth step is just like you instant in the second step you instant instantiated the sql uh, statement and in the seventh you close the query same way in the first you build the connection with the database in the eighth step you have to close the database connection so these are the eight steps which you often perform in any adbc programming let us look this again in a graphical format that will help you understand better let us see the same eight steps graphically so we use this cl sql connection get connection to get the connection to the database then we'll use this create statement to instantiate the sql statement then we have to prepare the native sql statements in this case it's written like select m dot m select m dot matner select m dot m dot and select t dot m k t x t so these are the sql query which we have concatenated concatenated and try to save in this variable called ls underscore statement so this is in we are trying to prepare the sql statements next we need to uh, issue the native sql calls so how we do that we fire the query so we execute the query so in the query what we are doing we are passing the uh, the select statements which we have stayed in the saved in this ls statement the fifth statement is to assign the target variable for the result set so what we do look here we have set the parameter underscore table and we have trying to set the result in this li tab underscore reference so what we are doing we are just assigning a target variable for the result set in the sixth step we'll retrieve the result step so how do you do we do it with next package and then in the seventh step we will close the query the query which you have uh, created we close it so that we can release the resource and finally we have to close the connection so this is the class we used lr connection and uh, close so this completes the whole adbc cycle i hope uh, you will be able to theoretically understand what i am trying to mean so when we do the actual hands on practi practice in the next video you will be able to uh, appreciate more so in the hands on practice we will take one program and we'll write it in a normal ecc system ecc 6 system then we'll write in uh, ecc 7 system or 7.4 system and then we'll write it in s4 hana so you will learn uh, how gradually the syntax changes and what are the classes which we are using for this eight steps